Hello guys, my name is Kiki and in this video I am trying to fix this Xbox 360 version E which has a problem with its disk tray. As soon as you want to close it, it goes in and it's coming out immediately. And basically you cannot close it. So let's see if I can fix it. Let's get started. So as a first step, let me show you what the exact problem is. If I turn it on, it's coming on perfectly and the disk is coming out. And then as soon as I close the open tray button, it's coming out immediately, no matter what. Let's try to turn it off. It's turned off. Let's open the tray, now it's coming out. Let's close it and it's coming out again. Let's close it and it's coming out again. Doesn't matter if I put in a disk or no, it's, it's doing the exact same thing. I can show you that it actually works if I switch over to the HDMI input. If I go to the menu, it's telling me close the tray. If I click close the tray, it's telling me closing and then it's opening automatically again. So that's basically the problem. Okay, so let's take it apart and let's see if we can, I can fix it. So now it's taken apart. It wasn't that easy, but I'm not the first one I mean. I can tell there are like this furniture protection things here so let's remove the disk drive there is definitely a lot of dust here I will clean it up at the end But this is what we are focusing on now. Okay, so let's take it apart. Okay, so the top cover is off. Let's see if there is anything we can tell. It's not right. If I shake it, it feels or it sounds like something is broken inside. Maybe you can hear this. Maybe only this was which was moving inside. So here is the motor connected to. This motor is moving the tray back and forth, I assume. And this is here turning the disc. This is the laser here. And everything is moving back and forth here. This look li looks like an end stop switch here. This one.
that I did not even recognize a few minutes ago. And this fell off from the disk drive. I can also imagine that the, the children were just putting it into the disk tray and maybe this was causing the disk drive to jump. I can pretty much also imagine this to be honest. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, so basically I look down and I cannot find anything obvious. Now that we remove this little toy, I will give it a go and I put I will put the disk drive back into the Xbox. And maybe this was the only problem that this little thing was just causing a jump and it did not allow it to close properly or things like this, so it was blocking the switch or whatever. As you can see here, there is a nice mark here, which was definitely caused by continuous, by continuous contact to something, which was jamming this in. So I will put back the disk drive and let's see if it works. Let me just connect at the power button. This front should. And let's connect the disk drive. Let's plug in the power ca cable. And let's pray. So I will turn it on. Take care whenever you open it up, never look into the laser. Laser head is like here, so never look into it. Then press the eject button, it's coming out. Let's press again, it's closing. And now it's remaining closed. Let's do it again. So let's close it again. And it's remaining closed. And it's moving really easy. I cannot really feel any jam. That's cool. Now that it's opened, I will clean up this area here, these gears here with canned air. It is now remaining closed each and every time. Let's press again. Let's close it. Perfect. So I will put it together. At first I will clean it because it's full of dust. I will put, put it together and we will test it together. Let's hope it works. Okay guys, now I put it together. It went together way easier than taking apart. So let's test it together now. Okay. I will press now the power button. It turned on, my LED is on. And let's press the eject button. Tray is coming out. Let's press it again. And let's see if it stays in. And yes, it stays in. Let's try again. Okay, let's press again. Great. One more time. And it's in. Okay. Great. One more thing I would like to try. 
let's see if it reads games. I think it's fine. I will switch over to the HDMI input. As you can see, turned on. And Lego Jurassic World is in. Now I press the eject button. Tray is opening. Let's close it again. It's closed and it's reading. It's spinning up. And I can play the game. Yes, it's running. It's running. Perfect. Okay, guys. So, what did we learn during this repair? Never put anything, any toys inside there disc tray because it might cause any jumps <laughs> okay guys so that was it for this video i hope you found it fun it was not a hard repair but it was it was a fun for me if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel i hope i see you next time bye